This video is brought to you by Asus. Have you ever heard of Ser Aluminum? Well, I didn't up until a day ago when I got a chance to be a part of the always incredible Asus Media Day for IFA 2024 in Berlin. You can think of Ser Aluminum as a mix between ceramic and aluminum, which is produced via plasma electronic oxidation process, a fusion that is used in the aerospace and luxury watches industries and now in some of the latest Asus products. The end result is a strong and lightweight material and a surface that has a very unique texture, one that doesn't attract any fingerprints, something that I'll get back to in a moment. The highlight of the always incredible event, as you can guess, was AI. You know, co-pilot PCs, but also AI. Asus and Intel, more specifically the latest Asus products with Intel's Lunar Lake processors. We're talking about super thin and lightweight x86 architecture. Why Asus? Because they have the broadest lineup of super thin and light for consumer and commercial and they take full advantage of the x86 architecture. Intel calls it the most energy efficient x86 processor ever. If you've seen my previous VivoBook S15 video, you'll know how excited I was to witness a powerful yet very efficient machine that can deliver exceptional power and unhinged sustainability. Housing an ARM-based processor though was facing some architecture challenges which are non-existent in this x86 Asus and Intel relationship. The latest Intel Ultra Series 2 offsprings offer 40% more battery life, 50% better graphics and of course AI, but perhaps the most mind-blowing ZenBook and VivoBook benchmark was the 27 hour long offline video playback which is just nuts. Talking about ZenBooks, this device stole my heart. At 1.1 centimeters and 1.2 kilos, this is a remarkable 14 inch machine that you can barely feel in your hand, let alone in your EDC. It houses the best of what Intel has to offer. The Intel Core Ultra 9 being able to stay cool and fast at 28 watts TDP. It comes with a very decent I.O. Two USB-C turnable ports, HDMI 2.1, audio combo jack and a USB type A package in two beautiful colors, both of them featuring the seraluminum finish. You don't know anything about seraluminum? No. Get ready to have your mind blown. Okay. So, really, it's really cool. Yeah. Seraluminum, ceramic aluminum, is actually aluminum oxide. Okay. Aluminum oxide is basically rusty aluminum, which is not a good thing. And right. it doesn't have very good properties. It crumbles, very weak. Seraluminum is very strong, very robust. Um, so the way it works is, we submerge the aluminum mm -hmm. in a tank. We zap it with a huge amount of electricity. Okay. So much that it turns into plasma. So the atoms start losing their, the atom cores start losing the electrons. Okay. Everything starts whizzing around. And then when it cools down, it all settles down in a crystal lattice, in a crystal structure. Okay. So you have all the aluminum atoms and the oxygen atoms dropping back out of the fuzzy cloud. Mm -hmm. And they're aligned perfectly in a crystal structure. Okay. So it's a meta material. So the end result is a finish that doesn't attract fingerprints. Yes. It's lightweight and rigid. Yes. Very uh, scratch resistant. Scratch resistant, um, yeah. It, it, you know, our, our fingers are co covered in our natural oils, mm. which are acidic. It's totally corrosion resistant as well. So mm. it doesn't change color based yeah. on time, especially if you like lighter products, white products. Mm. You, you probably had an experience that they turn a little bit yellow, yellow or brownish. That. Mm -hmm. That's because of the acidic uh, surface of your, your fingers. Not happening with aluminum. This tiny laptop is housing a massive 72 watt hour battery by the way offering fast charging and of course that dawn to dusk performance but what's interesting here is that asus didn't compromise when it comes to the display the 3k 120 hertz lumina oled display is super impressive in person which is touchscreen by the way and so was the 16 by 10 massive gesture enabled touchpad now if i was looking for almost just as portable 14 inch alternative with higher thermal design power the vivobook s14 with its intel core ultra 7 series 2 is a great choice being available at a more competitive price the slightly thicker and i'm saying this 
generously. 1.3 kilogram construction, any more conservative design approach package is no slouch when it comes to efficiency and power, featuring a built-in Intel Arc graphics and Asus iSchool thermal technology, boasting impressive strides compared to the previous generation. And I'm still talking about all day 27 hours of unplugged battery life with its 75 watt hour capacity and of course fast charging. Still featuring the amazing 3K Asus Lumina OLED display, this time more versatile when it comes to ports. The additional USB Type-A Gen 1 and micro SD slot opens a lot of doors for creative people. This really is an all-in-one portable package for people who demand sustainable performance. The VivoBook 14 is also available as a flip, by the way, which might come in handy for creative people who prefer to rely on a stylus. A 360-degree hinge enables seamless transitions between laptop, tent, stand, or tablet mode with support for Asus Pen 2.0. Both these ZenBook and VivoBook lineups come with Wi-Fi 7 and Copilot in mind, an additional Asus-specific suite of tools like StoryCube, a place to organize all your media, adaptive dimming, which is one of my favorite, the ability to lock and secure the device when you're away, and more. What's interesting is that out of all new devices, the most extensive software package comes wrapped inside the Expert Book P series, the leader there being the Expert Book P5, which is very similar in form factor, like dimensions and weight, very similar to the ViewBook S14, mm -hmm. but um, it is even cheaper, mm -hmm. has longer warranty, uh, more premium support, um, has an IPS panel, so some people might not yeah. like that, but as a result of that, it has longer battery life mm. than all of these others because okay. of the IPS panel. And you get dual SSDs, like you mentioned. Mm. So 2280 and 2230 SSD, um, you can swap out the SSDs, copy them over. Um, you showcase some specific software tweaks that are available only in the P-series. Yes. Uh, so they're not gonna be uh, an optional extra or something yes. that you can use on the other lab. Our Expert Meet AI, mm. yeah, that application is going to be available only on the P-Series. That's right. AI Expert Meet is a bundle of tools that is only available on the P-Series of laptops, which will allow users to record, summarize, and even translate meetings, which all happens on device. So, no subscription to worry about. And I think the best way that I can describe the P series of Asus laptops, which again feature the Intel Core Ultra Series 2 processors, is versatility. Not only because you have easy bottom access to swap the, let's say, Wi Fi card or one of the dual SSD slots, oh, and of course the battery, which comes with a patented latch slot, but more so because we're talking about 28 hours of battery life and sustained thermal performance. All this in a 14 inch package at a very respectable price. I am yet to try one of those Asus products in my daily routine and I'll be sure to share my thoughts when I do. So stay tuned. In the meantime, feel free to check out my Asus VivoBook S15 video right here. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z, over and out.